you shall never see it again. And there you shall be offered for sale to your enemies as male and female slaves, but no one will buy you. A few things to notice with the structure of this text. Notice that the Bible doesn't simply say God will take you into Egypt, but God will take you back to Egypt. That's the first hint. The second hint, by the way of which I said to you, you shall never see it again. Based on these two clues and exegesis, we can conclude that this is literal Egypt because they came out of a literal Egypt and God said he will take them back to Egypt. He can only take them back if they've been there before. Next, the Bible says, by the way of which I said to you, you shall never see it again, meaning that they saw it before. This can't be America's black Hebrew Israelites claim because the Jews were never- Okay, man, a dickhead, bro. Shalom. Ah, uh, Anna, praise and glory unto Yahweh. Ba Asham Yahweh Shai. Ba Asham Raka Kadash. And, and big up all of the Akiam, the Naba Yaim, the prophet, them, the brethren, and the Aquaf, the sister, them, where well, I'll push the 100% through, through the four corner, them, and, and double honor to the elder, them, at the GMS, where I push the 100% truth from where they are, from long time, through all of the slander, them get. So, my man, I talk about. Him, you hear what him say? Him say that the, the Deuteronomy 28 and 68 when they say that the Lord Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai would take us into Egypt again with ships was not talking about the transatlantic and trans-Pacific and trans-Indian Ocean slave trades. Man, and him say it was talking about regular Egypt over there so in Northeast Africa, man. Yo, brethren, you don't read your Bible because we are going to go into where am, I, where am I talk about? What, what what are you talking about, bro? What are you talking about? This is what happens when you don't read your Bible, but you have a you have many people in a, your your social following and your social media account that boosts up your head with the chat idiotness. So come get edified, Regin. So we are gonna talk about simply We are gonna start with the land of Israel. Right, the tribal allotment then. Joshua 15 and 1. This then was the lot of the tribe of the children of Yahawada, Judah, by their families. Even to the border of Edom, the wilderness of Zin, southward was the uttermost part of the salt coast, right? So this talking about the, 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 the lot, the, the, the tribal lands of Judah, Yahawada. So Joshua 15 and 4. From thence it passed toward Asman. I went out unto the river of Egypt, and the going out of that course were at the sea. This shall be a soft course. So, yo, it said that, it said that the tribal lot of Judah touched the Nile River. <laughs> so, Judah, by default, is in a Egypt. You understand? Hold on, verse 51. And Goshen, and Holland, and Gilo, 11 cities with their villages. So, Goshen, when you look on a map of Goshen, it there in Egypt. But this is Judah. This is a town of Judah. You understand, my man, don't read in Bible. So, we are going to jump now after all of the kings of Judah from, from David unto Zedekiah. We there. The Babylonians are now about to conquer Judah, right? The southern kingdom. Jeremiah 42 and 19. The Lord Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai said concerning you, O ye remnant of Judah, Yahawada, go ye not into Egypt, no, certainly that I have admonished you this day. 43 and 7. So they came into the land of Egypt, for they obeyed not the voice of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. Thus they came even to Tophanes, that's past Goshen. They, they went so deep into Egypt, they passed Goshen. You understand? So, I don't know. My man, you think just because you, just because you don't read your Bible and your follower them don't read your Bible, that we don't read our Bibles. That's what you think. You think that because you don't read your Bible. And your follower them don't read them Bible. You assume say we don't read our Bibles. Right? And you're an idiot, man. You have to repent.
So shallow well, I'm just a quick thing real quick, you understand? Defend the gospel and all them cast down all of the imaginations we call them them vain. This is a vain imagination. My man think, haha, I have got them. Yes, I'm going to conquer the Hebrew Israelites this day, right now. You thought that you had something, but you never have anything, brethren. You never have anything. If I could really go into this and we could talk about spirit the land caught spiritually Egypt and Saddam, right? And we know I say over there, so in Egypt, it's kind of Arabic and Muslim, so you can't really be a body man in public over there. So in the land of Egypt, them man, they will, will hang you and thing and stone you. So, so in America, though, on the back of the dollar bill, you have the pyramid, you have the, the Horus, you have the RC and I, right? Yeah, they, then in America, that's where they will push the, the body man agenda. So you have the spiritual Saddam and Egypt. Right, and that's where, that's where because the the Columbus and the conquistador man them would take South Americans and drive the, and and put them on the boats and take them from South America to North America and take and take the North American people, Native Americans, right, which are which are the tribe of which are the the kingdom of Israel, right. And they would take them from North America, from United States, and bring them to the Caribbean and South America. Egypt, Egypt. And then they would take the, the one them Judah, the southern kingdom of Judah, from, from Europe and Africa, and take us from Europe and Africa and bring us to the Americas, Egypt. You understand? Because America is spiritually Egypt and Saddam. You see it on the money. You see it. With the Batman agenda. Right? So you need to read your Bible, brethren. I don't even know your name. But read your Bible, bro. You can't have a zeal, man. And just waste it, man. Yeah, waste your zeal. And your follower them now help you. So shallow one.